Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to get back to what I normally do, working on crawlers or playing with crawlers. Today we're going to work on the 6x6, which is right down here at the bottom of the screen. And finally, I'm going to upgrade the servo with this 35kg Zeus K servo off Amazon. If you followed my channel for a while, you know that I've been running these servos in just about every rig I have. Uh, one in TRX4 Blazer, one in the Ben G version 1 Gen 8. Um, one in my comp Predator Gen 8 build and can't remember I might have one in this one here no I do not that's a red cat one <clears throat> um, have one in my element trail walker as well so I've run this in quite a few rigs $35 roughly $36 $37 very good servo uh, for the money uh, it's been they've stunned me very well so I have not been happy with the servo in the axial 6x6 so we're going to upgrade it. So take care of the bench, get this swapped in, and then we're going to take it out to the local crawl spot and see how it performs with a better servo. So I hope you stick around for that. All right, guys. So here's the 6x6, Axial 6x6. It still has the stock servo in here. I just want to sort of show you this is the speed. This is me going back as fast as possible. It's the speed of the servo. And then if I you see it, I mean, it's... I can stall that servo out, no problem. So we'll do the same test <coughs> once we have the new 35kg in there. So let me get that installed. Alright, so new servos in there. A um, couple things I wanted to point out. I didn't record doing the whole install because, I mean, most people have replaced servos, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, but one thing to point out, I do like this. It has this, actually has this little holder here. These two screws come out. And this piece actually comes up, this little bracket, it's almost like an L bracket and has a little hook here. That hook is for your wires. I sort of like that, which when you take that out, bringing the stock servo out with the uh, servo horn still attached is fairly easy. It came right out. Um, when putting in the new servo, don't make the mistake that I made, which was I did not put the new servo horn on first. I put the servo in. Um, you can put the servo horn on after, but right here I had to move the pan hard bar, unbolt it to put it in there. And that thing is very close, very tight to that. I did have to turn my dual rate down on this because basically this is a 270 degree servo. So it would turn way into it and push on the pan hard mount right there. So I had to turn it down. We'll see if that's an issue. Uh, but just, you know, keep that in mind, make sure you lock tight your stuff and now I'm going to do the same little test that we did prior here. So same battery. It's a little, little faster in my opinion. Tons stronger. Uh, I don't know. It's trying harder but I can still stop it. So we'll uh, get it out on the trail and see how it does. So I hope you uh, like what you see so far. All right, so before getting out, I found an issue. The servo horn that came with the servo has this extra piece here. It goes on this way. It is just barely right there catching right there on the frame, right there. So I'm going to take Dremel and Dremel off some of that piece there and then get it back on. That should get my full steering. So stick around for that. All right, guys, so I have modified the servo horn. You can see there now can clear that. Just grinded the end of it a little bit with a Dremel and now I got full turn and I do have the steering rate turned down because this is a 270 degree servo so it can go way uh, way out so I have steering rate turned down quite a bit but still have good steering so let's get out on the rocks and let's see how she performs all right we got the new 35 kg servo in the axial let's see how it performs out on the rocks
Ooh. Go. Just had to have the back end of it positioned just right. Yeah, try the tree hill. She was just sitting. Right, guys so what do you think the servo was much needed on this definitely has better steering in my opinion um, it just it it feels more responsive more than anything and I also have to say that this rig with the servo big time with the tires I'm starting to like it more than I did it definitely feels capable and has surprised me on multiple things now now it needs a motor and ESC combo and then I think it will be right where it needs to be uh, definitely working much better uh, there'll be a link down below for the 35 kg servo if you're interested and I uh, hope you like what you see today guys if you do please like share and subscribe until the next time